Hey guys, it's me. I just wanted to film a video showing you my Sweet Kawaii Design sticker organization. Um, that's all in this binder right here. And then um, the case that I got to keep my Hobonichi Weeks and pens and stuff like that in. This is a Book Bow Traveler. Um, it's spelled B -A, or B -E -A -U, um, Book Bow, all one word. And I ordered this on a pre-order a while back. Um, they don't always have these online. They're, they do small orders. So I think I ordered this in April on a pre-order basis and I got it about a week and a half ago, mid-June, so like first weekend in June maybe. Um, I really love it though. It's, it's pretty wide on the bottom. As you can see, it can fit a lot. It's padded really pretty heavily. It's pretty thick padding um, so nothing's gonna happen to it it's actually meant to hold like a Kindle or books um, is what it's meant for so um, the owner of the company came up with the idea of doing this because she was ruining her books in her backpack and she wanted something to protect him to protect them like older signed books and stuff I'm doing this one-handed so hang on a second all right, I've got it open. So she wanted something that would protect them. So as you can see, this is how thick it is. The inside is like this, it's almost like the inside of a laptop case, like a sleeve you would buy for a laptop. That's about what it feels like. And then it's got this super sturdy zipper here, which is this nice bright white. It's got awesome stitching here. Look how nice those stitches look on the front. This is kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but this gold design is kind of sparkly. It's like shiny gold thread, fireworks pattern. It might be flowers actually. This is leather actually, this, um, this label here. All of their book bows come with this on them. Um, and their customer support is awesome too so we own a few of these but I just wanted to show you that this is this is kind of how I keep my stickers um, it's got one big pocket here I've got a bunch of Sweet Kawaii Design stickers these are the size of the um, Hobonichi Weeks June kit is in here I believe um, this is my Hobonichi and then I've got my Tombow um, marking tape, what's it called? I want to say adhesive tape, that's not what it is. Um, correction tape, so Tombow correction tape. Okay, I'm doing this one-handed um, while trying to hold this, so let's see if we can do this. So there's my correction tape. Here is my little scissors. Okay, here comes the hobo, and as you can see, I've got a case on it too, it's not like, and it just slides right out, like, boom, it's the perfect size for it, actually. So here comes that. This case is Bliss Bag Boutique made that. I'm just going to slide that up, slide this stuff over, and it's hollow stars, ba -ba -ba. look how pretty. All right, I need to pause this and go turn that timer off, and then I'll come back right back, just a second. Okay, picked you back up. Um, so here's my my Hobo Weeks. Um, here is my sheaf of stickers that were in there. These are all Sweet Kawaii Design. June kit, that's my microwave going off. So this is like 10 sheets of stickers. And then, so see how wide that bottom is? You could fit a ton of stuff in there, right? You totally could. I actually unzipped this while I had the phone set down so you could see it. Oh, crumbs. Um, so I've gotten here a few different things. So this is an adhesive pen. It's a glue pen from Tombow. I uh, found this at some craft store. It was either Joanne or... Um, 
think it was Joanne or Michael's. Um, not that expensive. I think it was like three or four bucks. And this thing is awesome. It's got like the, I'll take this off. It's got a really fine tip and it can apply a lot so you don't have to use very much pressure. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about capping that later. So you can fit that in there. This is a Tombow, or the, sorry, Pilot Pen. I got this from Tasia at Sweet Kawaii Designs when I ordered something. This is a permanent pen. Um, it's a soft tip though. So this works really well on her stickers though. I really like it. And this is a Stadler Fine Liner. Stadler Fine Liner. I use this in my Tombow. Love it. A rogue husband approached. Bye. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so this fine liner is what I use to write in my Hobonichi weeks. Check this out. It's tiny, right? But it writes so nicely. Oh, that didn't that focus good for a minute there. It writes so nice in there. I just love it. So I'll show you the tip on this one too, actually. So got kind of a long how do I make that visible how do we see that there we go so it's got kind of a long fiber part at the end and so it makes it softer so you can really get this cranking out some fat text if you want I prefer to do the really thin text if I can I'll show you some examples though so here's the Sailor fine liner this is a hard tip so you want to hold this vertically um, this one you can hold kind of like, I don't write with this hand, hang on, let's switch hands. Okay, so writing with the Sadler, you want to hold it vertical, because otherwise there's, um, there's hard stuff on the either side that makes writing like slanted difficult. This one you can write like this, and like hold it like this, that's how I like to write. Um, with the Sharpie fine point, I like to use that one too on, um, stickers where you have to use permanent marker but that one you kind of have to hold like this otherwise if you hold like this it's much harder to write and there's a, like a metal part on there that like scratches on the stickers it just makes it look bad um i also use this pair of tweezers which are a slant tip Let's see if we can focus a little bit better uh, there we go so slant tip tweezers um these are just basic revlon ones I use them for my eyebrows until I needed them one day when my puppy had a tick on him. Here's puppy. Hey puppy! And we were hiking and so <laughs> I whipped these out to get the tick off of him. Um, I, I realized I've never needed them again since that one day so I alcohol wiped them down and like drenched them in hydrogen peroxide and rinsed them real good and then um, got them ready to go for my planner. So, and that's what I have that fits in here. I could put like thicker things in here and maybe thinner things in here. Like I could have put the pens in here, but this is kind of a pen pocket, right? I mean, that's what that's designed for is like, you could see like it's a wide pocket so you could fit. Well, it's chunky, so it's not gonna stay, but I mean, that's like what you could fit in it vertically. So it does fit. You could put tea bags in there. I was actually gonna grab one and show you because that's what I'm about to drink. That's what's in my microwave right now um, and what that timer was for. But um, I actually, I decided to film this when I was about to make a cup of tea and I was like, I gotta wait five minutes so might as well just film it now. And then I was like, oh crap, my timer's going off because I talk too much. But I wanted to really give you, like show you this really good because this company is not very popular. It's kind of an indie company. Um, they do have an Instagram though, and they do go to book conventions and stuff. So if you're a reader, these are awesome. I have more of them. I will show you, um, I think I've shown my, it's called a hand big that they sell. I use that for a lot of my other pens. On the go, this one's specifically my Hobonichi Weeks kit, which is this stuff. This stuff is all what I carry if I'm just taking this one and some stickers in here and it all fits right it's super compact so i just shove this in my backpack and just go 
Um, I work IT, so I carry a backpack because I have to take my laptop home once in a while. And so it's just easier to have a backpack because it's padded and I wouldn't want to drop my laptop and then have to pay for it because that's lame. So anyway, you probably want to see what's in here and what's in here. So I'll do all the stickers at once. We'll do this first. All right. I know I promised a couple of people I would do a flip through this anyway, so 2019, here we go. This is the March start. Um, coffee because adulting is hard. This is a Happy Planner sticker. This one I got from Planner Bunny Press. I thought it was supposed to like be some sort of rub-on sticker, but now when I peel this off, I, like it comes off with it, so I don't know what to do with it. I just left it there. And I put my name and the dates in there. I just, this is how I write, like, my script usually. Um, and this was a pilot. Uh, no, not a pilot. Um, a uniball. Ultra ball. Hobonichi. Spring. So if you haven't seen one of these before, actually... We could do a full flip through right now because why not? So you've got last year's calendar, this year's, and next year's. That's cool. Holidays of 2019 written in, I assume, Japanese. Um, perpetual calendar is what Aaron Condren calls this. It's just basically like here are the days of the month. Here are things that are happening in this month. So from now until next April. Or until next March. Um, so 2019-2020 school year. This would be a great academic calendar, actually, because it almost lines up with the school year. But you could definitely you know, find a way to mark different dates with the stickers. Um, if you're using the Sweet Kawaii stickers, these are not going to be small enough. These are the itty-bitty size for, that she does for her icons. Those are not going to be small enough for these boxes so you would need to find like pinpoint stickers I mean these are so small like here's the Stadler fine liner tip you see how small these are so you really would want to find something else anyway here's March this is Tasia's beautiful rainbow kit that, she, um, that she created for March um, this month I did not have the subscription to the Hobonichi weeks kit I actually think she didn't come out with that until April. Either that or March was the first month that I missed it. So she had just started coming out with this size. So, and all these markings I made in here are uh, Stadler fine liners. I have the huge like 34 color set of them. It's either that or like the 64 color set. Um, but I've got a huge set of them, so that's what I've been using in here. I was experimenting with different colors to see if uh, that would help me keep track of things. And actually, I think this is a ballpoint pen. And this one might be a uh, another uniball. But this month is April. That's the first month I got the Kawaii kit. Um, or not the Kawaii kit, she calls it the monthly kit for Hobonichi Weeks, and each one of those comes with a Wacky Holiday sticker kit. A whole page of Wacky Holidays. Everything that's in the month. Um, you also get a page of icons like this. So, this is a mix of the monthly. You can buy the monthly separately. That comes with um, it didn't this month, but she's now added date covers, and then you get the sidebar here, you get the bottom washi, and then you also get the, the top header row. But look how cute these wacky holidays are. I freaking love these. Look at that. That's so cute. April Fool's Day, peanut butter and jelly, world party. This was a sticker that came from one of the Sweet Kawaii Designs kits called introverting that was at Michael's and you can still buy those on her website if they are sold out at your Michael's they might be on clearance right now because she's come up with some more different kits that are there 
Um, but you can definitely still buy these on Tasha's website. It's sweetkawaiidesign.com. Um, this, these little verticals, or sorry, horizontal uh, strips here are not part of this kit, um, this one too. They are actually an itty bitty functional kit that I bought from somebody um, that was, I think they were de-stashing some stuff they had duplicates of or something or like half used kits. So I said, oh, send them my way. So that's what I'm kind of using them for. I like that they give it a little bit more color. Um, the icons you get on the monthly page are a little bit smaller like this. They're smaller than itty bitty, so they'll fit in these boxes pretty good. I love this one for my dog's monthly medication, and that's what I've been using it for. Um, oh, Max smells somebody outside. Good boy, Max. Sam. Good boy. That's a good puppy. That's good boy to mom. Oh, there I am. Hi. He's a good boy. Good job. He's a mama's good boy. You give him lots of praise when he tells mommy that there's bad guys outside. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a security golden. Cutest security guard you ever did see. Oh, he's a good boy. Look at this fuzzy baby. You got some toes down there, baby dog. What you got the baby here, huh? Good dog. He's so cute, he gets curly as thin as hair like that when it gets wet. I don't know if that's all Goldens or just him. He sure does though. So you can tell he's been in some water if you start seeing the curlies there because they kind of go away after I brush him out. I usually brush him three or four times a week. Sometimes I brush him every day, but he gets sick of that real quick. So he used to love it until he figured out mommy was going to spray stuff on him. And then he's like, get me out of here. Anyway. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you, this is a weather icon sticker that you can get. It does not come with the kit though. You can get it though on her website. There's blank ones like this, the itty bitty size, and then she makes a size bigger than this. And I think another size bigger than that, and those actually have cute little kawaii faces on them. Kind of like, um, they're kind of like these ones. Uh, what else? What else? I don't know, let's, let's keep going. And then here's May. Beauteous May. Uh, don't, either I didn't put the date covers on or they didn't start coming with them in May. Oh, uh, 25th is when our bills are due, so. They started coming with a little house sticker, which is so cute, I freaking love. I would buy a bunch of these. Star Wars Day, look how cute that is. This is actually a full kit on her site and an album, a sticker album too. I love Truffle Day, but I think this day I was unable to eat truffles, which sucks. Eye exam, doctor appointment, um, blah, 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 strawberries day. Oh, and I started actually writing some things down here, which is funny because look what you get the next month. Ba bam these started the next month. So instead of just a plain bottom washi, now you get these lists. So I put important stuff like grandpa's funeral, um, my wedding anniversary, um, which is also my dad's birthday. Sorry, dad. Sorry about that. Uh, stuff we wanted to do around the house appointments, um, goals for the month. You can, this is a separate, this is a strip here and this is another strip here. So you could line it up any way you want. I like that the colors match though. So, um, my mom and dad's birthdays are one day apart. And so I put them over here. So I remember birthday people are coming up. Um, it's not so cute black bear day this month is the day that our sticker date covers started coming in the kits so these are so cute and i love them um this month i basically went through and tried to put as many of the fun wacky holidays on as i had room for um 
I also used the payday stickers this month because I realized like I'm not gonna use these actually might have just been added as tiny icons because I just realized like we actually have them um, have more of them um, these are size for like putting them on the individual pages that you're writing on like for the weekly view so I think she added monthly sized ones which, Tasia, if you're watching, I totally love that, and I want more. More more of that, please. Those are great. I love the monthly size icons. Um, these little female dots here started having faces and hair bows this month, which is so freaking cute. We also got some cake. We got a wine glass. Um, these stars are from a different kit. I think they're from the Totoro kit. This is the day that, well, on our wedding anniversary, we actually, three years ago, we adopted Max. So that's exciting. I like to, I like to remember that day too. Uh, what else? Oh, I love how egg day fell on when I had to do jury duty, man. I might've even had eggs that day now that I think about it. Okay, and here's July. So as you can see, I don't have anything on here really. I haven't touched that kit because I'm leaving it until it's actually July. Um, Cause I don't want to use up all the sticker pudding in the same day, like that would be lame, right? But I did put down the 4th of July holiday sticker um, and video games day, duh. <laughs> um, and dance day. How could I not put dance day? And then we have some more appointments and goals. I like when these colors match, so I'm gonna keep doing it that way, but I'm not gonna write those down until next month. Cause y'all know I changed my mind about a million times a minute. So I have no idea what I'm gonna be having for goals in August. Um, here's the August kit, by the way. Do you love these lemons? Look how sweet these are. 